Cristiano Ronaldo, Michael Jordan, Adam Goods, Kathy Freeman, Muhammad Ali, and Simone Biles. All champions of their sport, and all born at the start of the year. Interesting? Maybe. Coincidence? Maybe not. See, I'm born at the start of the year as well. And just like all of these athletes, I was pretty good at sport from a young age. I represented my state in basketball, and I even got to guard NBA star Dante Exxon. Toughest 40 minutes of his life. But is all of this just because of my birthday? Well, according to lots and lots of different studies, the month that you're born in can have a massive impact on your sporting success. This graph shows all the births in Australia, the UK and the USA from 2010 to 2018. Seems like everyone's born later, right? Well, now let's look at the birth dates of athletes at the 2010 Youth Olympics and national youth soccer players in Europe, hockey players in the USA, FIFA World Cup athletes, Major League Baseball players, and AFL players. Seeing a trend? This is something called the relative age effect. Often junior sports are grouped into age categories. However, kids develop at completely different rates. Months of growth can seem like years of difference. A study in 2015 showed just how this translates to athletic performance. Michael Roman and Stephen Cobbler looked at 60 metre sprint times for kids aged 8 to 15. They then plotted their times against their precise age. We're talking years, months and days. And have a look at the results. They found that eight-year-olds born at the start of the year ran about 10% faster than those born at the end. Experts reckon that coaches may mistake this gap in skill and physicality for talent and not age. But all of a sudden, a lot more attention is paid to these early developers with things like extra training, extra coaching and extra gear. This can lead to the late bloomers and December babies, well, getting left behind. The relative age effect goes beyond the sports field too. A study in 2005 looked at academic test scores for grade fours all over the world. What the results show is that year fours born in December would on average score four to 12 percentile points lower than year fours born in January. This means a December born grade four might score in the 68th percentile while a January-born grade four could score in the 80th percentile. The difference between a perceived learning difficulty and a gifted student may not always be intelligence. It might be their month of birth. Sport coaches are becoming aware of this phenomenon, and some programs have even been put in place to combat it. The University of Sydney and Swimming Australia have teamed up to start a project called H2Grow. The project is all about working out what sort of influence growth and maturation has on adolescent swimmers. They've started tracking swimmers of all different ages and abilities and seeing how they develop over time. This is why it's important to understand how growth and maturation can affect swimming capabilities. We need to recognise that such differences are temporary and are less influential as boys and girls get older. I think everyone knows someone like this. Someone who was super tall when they were young but slowed down over time. Sport clubs are still working out realistic ways to deal with the relative age effect, but things are already starting to even themselves out. Remember this graph of AFL players from before? Well, this is a graph of all the new players from just the last five years. So look, there is a bit more to success than an early arrival. I mean, yes, I was born in January and I got buckets when I was young, but fast forward a few years and things even themselves out. What's really important is that you work harder than anyone else at whatever you want to achieve. And just remember, LeBron James, four-time NBA MVP, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, he's born December 31st. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure you chuck us a thumbs up and head on over to our channel as well. We're gonna be putting up heaps of new cool videos in 2020. And while you're at it, head on over to the ABC Education website. You'll find heaps of cool resources for students, teachers, and your parents.